Improving the colour of table grapes with plant growth regulators. The value of table grapes in the market depends greatly on their condition and visual appearance. In red grapes, an attractive and uniform colour is essential. This short InnoGrape video aims to summarise plant growth regulators used to improve the berry colour of red table grape varieties. The colour in grape skins is determined by special pigments responsible for pinks, reds and purple colours. These pigments are called anthocyanins and their quantity and composition is influenced by the temperature and light conditions within the grapevine canopy. Red and black grapes grown in hot climates like Sunraysia may develop less colour than those grown in cooler climates because higher temperatures tend to impede the synthesis of anthocyanins in berries. Colour may also be inhibited by management practices that increase berry size, such as the use of plant growth regulators gibberellic acid and CPPU and vine cinturing. There are two plant growth regulators used in table grape production which improve berry colour. These are ethophon and abscisic acid, also known as ABA. These two plant growth regulators are similar in that they both stimulate the biosynthesis of anthocyanins in berry skins and improve fruit colour. However, there are important differences in their activity on grapes, and these differences determine how and when they should be applied. Understanding how these plant growth regulators work is essential for achieving a good result in your vineyard. The first difference is the timing of application and the rate of berry colour development after spraying. Ethophon has a relatively long application window, and the label suggests applying when 5 to 30% of berries show colour. It takes about three weeks to obtain the full colour benefit following the application of ethophon. In contrast, the application timing for ABA is typically earlier than ethophon. ABA is applied when 50% of the berries are soft. Growers should not wait for colour to develop before applying the first ABA treatment. Colour development is rapid with ABA and will be visible within five to seven days after application, although it may continue to develop for two to three additional weeks. The second difference is in the application method. Ethophon is systemic and moves in the vascular system. Early research has shown similar results when applied to only the fruit, only the leaves, or on both the fruit and leaves. So application method and coverage is not as critical with ethophon. Unlike ethophon, ABA is not translocated within the plant and can be thought of as a contact material. For this reason, proper sprayer calibration for thorough and complete coverage of the fruit is critical. Cultural practices to improve fruit exposure, including leaf removal and bunch spacing, are also encouraged prior to applying ABA. The differences between ethophon and ABA may be observed by the unique pigment patterns that develop during the early stages of berry colouring. Ethophon-treated fruit appears more diffuse in colour, while ABA-treated fruit may have a more concentrated colour around the spray droplets. Both ethophon and ABA are essential tools for growers in hot climates because they enhance colour and provide consumers with a visually attractive product, achieve higher returns for growers by getting the grapes to market earlier, and allow a more complete and shortened harvest period and reduced labour costs. But these products are not a substitute for viticulture practices necessary for good colour development, including crop load adjustment and canopy management. It is also important to remember that these products may be subject to specific withholding periods. It is a grower's responsibility to read the label and follow specific use and safety recommendations. A table grape grower's ultimate goal is to improve profitability and the bottom line. Having the right tools and information to produce attractive and uniform coloured fruit increases the grape value, improves annual returns and delights the consumer. This video is brought to you by InnoGrape, a table grape extension program supported by the Australian Table Grape Association with funding from the Foundation for Rural and Regional Renewal and the William Buckland Foundation.